Hello there. Welcome to Just the Dis. My name is Brian, and we talk about Blu-rays here. And for this uh, short video, I'm going to do a couple picks of the month. And I might try to do this with a few different labels if they have a lot of stuff coming out in a given month, um, like Kino Lorber in this case. So I will talk about two picks for two separate months <clears throat> in this video. And I'm going to start with August, and then I'll work back to July, as much as that doesn't make sense. Um, because uh, that's how I want to do it. Um, so I will start with my August pick of the month from Kino. And actually, one of my overall picks of the month for the entire month is Kino's re-release of Electroglide in Blue. Uh, this is a 1973 motorcycle cop movie starring Robert Blake. comes with this lovely slip case. I will take it off and show the alternate artwork there. Now, um, Electroglide is a really cool movie um, directed by uh, James William Gierko. Gier Gierkio. I can't even say his name. Um, a guy who didn't make a ton of movies and who was, I guess, managing Chicago at the time he made the film and even cast some members of the Chicago in the movie. And uh, I think they worked on the score as well, um, or members of them did anyway. I know I saw Peter Cetera in the cast of uh, Electric Light and Blue. But the film is about a uh, motorcycle cop named John Wintergreen, played by Robert Blake, who is patrolling the rural highways of Arizona with his partner Zipper, played by Billy Greenbush. Um... And he is an experienced patrolman, been doing it a long time, and he wants to try and get into the homicide unit, wants to be transferred to homicide. And he is informed by uh, a crazy old man living in the desert, played by Alicia Cook Jr., named Crazy Willie, of an apparent uh, suicide by shotgun. And he doesn't buy that it's actually a suicide. He believes that it's a murder, and because the victim shot himself in the chest rather than the head, which is kind of strange. Um, and so a homicide detective um, agrees that it's a homicide, and I won't go into the specifics of it, but um, one of them is that they notice that, or they've heard that there was like $5,000 stolen from the man's home. Uh you know, you know, that's now missing after this quote unquote suicide. So, uh, the detective arranges for the Robert Blake character be, to be transferred to homicide to help with the case. Um, and it kind of gets complicated from there and I won't go too far down the road of what happens because it's, um, you know, it's, it's of the era of movies like Easy Rider and, um, you know, things of that ilk. There's there's some hippies in this. There's some cops in this. Vanishing Point is another movie I would point to that I think is sort of in this ballpark in a way. I love Vanishing Point. Um, have that on Blu-ray back there. Uh, but yeah, this is just a really great movie and has a really great um, ending. I mean, you know, just a memorable ending and just a movie that sort of stands out as um, one that I think is one of the better films of the 1970s. And a great performance by Robert Blake. Uh, Electra Glide is a type of motorcycle, uh, for reference. Um, and yeah, it's just a good movie. And so this had previously been issued on this Blu-ray from Shout Factory. And now we have a brand new uh, 4K Master, which does look better for sure uh, than the previous Master. And this had some special features, but this disc ports all of them over and adds some new ones. So I think if you're a fan of Electroglide and Blue, like I am, you'll want to upgrade to this new uh, lovely slipcase, uh, new transfer, more extras version. Uh, now what's included on, included on this disc includes the commentary from producer, uh, a composer, uh, director, James William Gierkio, which was on the Shout Factory disc. 
There's an introduction by him that's also on the Shout Factory disc, and that's it. Now, in terms of new features, in terms of the Shout Factory, new features, you have a new added audio commentary by screenwriter Robert Boris, moderated by film historian Alex Van Dyne, who uh, was the manager of Eddie Brandt's Saturday Matinee, which is a you know well-known, amazing video store uh, in Los Angeles that has since closed down, but was really a great resource in L.A. for very obscure films. They were known for renting stuff uh, for free that they had taped off cable so you could get really obscure things that were never released on video officially um, through their amazing collection. <clears throat> now, that's one commentary that's included. There's also an, an interview with actor Mitchell Ryan. There's an interview with screenwriter Robert Boris. So you get those additional features on top of a brand new uh, 4K transfer, 235 to 1, really good looking um, new new edition of this film. So that to me is enough to recommend this. Um, and like I said, this is one of my favorite releases from Kino for the month and one of overall my favorite releases for the month of August. So that's Electro Glide in Blue. Now the second movie is going to not really go with that, but it's again, the thematic here is that these are picks of the month. These are movies that I think on disc that I think you should pick up and I think are worthwhile. And again, these are both Kino in this case. And my second choice is going to be the 4K Ultra HD of Michelle Gondry's film, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, uh, starring Jim Carrey and Kate Winslet. This is based on, or made from a script by Charlie Kaufman, but I guess he worked with another gentleman on the script. And it's one of my favorite pieces of material that Kaufman ever was a part of. And I, I know this film is much beloved, so there isn't really a great need for me to try and sell you on this because I'm sure a lot of people that are watching this have seen this film and know how great it is. Uh, but for those that haven't uh, and maybe aren't aware of Charlie Kaufman's work, a lot of it is incredibly surrealist. It can be very meta in terms of um, the elements involved. He's done other fascinating films like Synecdoche, New York, which he wrote and directed, which I do think is a fascinating film that is absurdist to a degree that I can't think of another recent American film that even comes close in terms of how out there that movie goes. Um, and then, of course, he did Adaptation uh, with Spike Jones, which is a really great um, Nicolas Cage role where he and his brother are writing an adaptation of a script and they write themselves into the script and it just gets all weird and crazy. He used to write for um, the TV show Get a Life, if you remember that, with uh, with Chris Elliott, uh, which needs a Blu-ray upgrade, by the way. I just found my Get a Life DVD set while I was rooting around through my stuff and I was like, where's the Blu-ray of that? Anyway, uh, so this is the new 4K Ultra HD of Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Comes with a slipcase. No alternative artwork, I don't believe. Oh. Yeah, no. No alternative artwork, um, but has some lovely features, I think most of which um, are being ported over from... There is a previous Blu-ray release, but uh, this 4K looks very good. And um, it, you know, is directed by Michelle Gondry. And it is just a really amazing romance, you know, ultimately bittersweet in a lot of ways, but the story of uh, Joel and Clementine, played again by Jim, Jim Carrey and uh, Kate Winslet, who are in a relationship and they we find out they've had a fight and that, you know, through sort of a weird circumstance, the Joel character finds out that Clementine has gone to a company called Lacuna that does a sort of a memory erasure process where you can erase a bad memory of an ex-lover or a pet or whatever. And they have this interesting process by which they have you bring in a box full of objects that reminds you of this person so that they can see through this scanner, the neural pathways that connect, this is all very science fiction, but it's fun the way they do it, neural pathways that connect to that object and the memory of then that person. And so they do an initial thing, and he goes into this very small office 
uh, where Mark Ruffalo is the technician and uh, Tom Wilkinson is like the head guy. Uh, Kirsten Dunst is like the secretary and Elijah Wood is like one of the people that works there as well. And so he decides to have this procedure done. And, um, and so what's really fascinating is the way that the film shows Joel and Clementine's romance through his memories of it as they are erased and how the memories sort of cross over and start to disintegrate in this really interesting way, which is another reason I think the 4k is nice as it shows, um, the lovely cinematography on top of which the sort of surrealist, you know, dreamy nature of the look of the film is even more enhanced by the ultra HD, I think. Um, but yeah, so it becomes a thing where we start to see Joel and Clementine's relationship through his memories of them, through the objects, etc. as he's, they're being erased all the while we are seeing Mark Ruffalo in the apartment with this giant thing on Jim Carrey's head and we're finding out, um, Elijah Wood is kind of a scumbag in this movie and is doing some weird stuff I'm not going to get into, um, but it's, it's a fascinating thing to see this romance play out in reverse, especially in this surrealist, disintegrative way. And it's one of those things where as Jim, Car- Jim Carrey's character is going through these memories and they're being erased, he's starting to realize maybe he doesn't want to lose the memories of Clementine, even if they are painful. And it goes to a really interesting place, if you haven't seen it, um, in terms of the ending. And it's just become a beloved film. You know, it came out in 2004. It's now, what, 18 years old? And it's, you know, I know a lot of people that, you know, some may call it their favorite film of all time. It's that kind of a movie that if you're a fan of romantic films, it's among the best romantic films, I think, uh, because Clementine is a really fascinating character as portrayed by Kate Winslet. She's very quirky and Joel is a very reserved guy and you almost can't, understand how they got together but you can absolutely so it's really fascinating to watch it play out and there's a lot of things about it and the way that they interact with each other maybe the way they disagree with each other that may you know remind other people of relationships they've had and that's part of why they connect to it and it's just a lovely film well performed and you know really well put together and directed by Michelle Gondry in terms of some of the dreamlike sequences as we're we're seeing those story those details of the relationship but we're seeing them in this weird way where they're disintegrating and they there's a great scene where Jim Carrey's running back and forth down a street and every time he gets to the one corner it's the same corner and the way they shoot that visually is so fascinating uh, I know obviously there's some digital tricks here but there's also some really neat in-camera stuff that's happening that I can't say I've seen done quite this way in another film So there's a lot of visual things that are really wonderful on top of having a very memorable story and great performances. So it is a really great movie and the 4K is great. And we have a lot of comp sort of uh, supplements here. We have, I think these are all ported over, but regardless, it's a ton of stuff. Audio commentary by director Michael Michelle Gondry and screenwriter Charlie Kaufman. Very interesting track. I haven't heard Charlie Kaufman on too many tracks and it's fascinating for me to hear him speak about his work or whatever he wants to bring up in this track. He's just a very, I don't want to say introverted, but a guy that, um, you know, for as brilliant as he is, doesn't talk about the way that he does what he does enough. Like I'm always trying to hear little bits about how he comes up with this stuff, but I'm imagining a lot of it is really instinctual for him. And so it's hard to discuss, but a nice commentary track from them. Uh, we have memory light an interview with cinematographer, Ellen Karras, uh, a look inside eternal sunshine of the spotless mind, step into the minds of the filmmaker behind this, um, in this behind the scenes, look at the film, a conversation with Jim Carrey and Michelle Gondry, the star and director reflect on their favorite onset moments. That's fascinating stuff. Really neat to see Jim Carrey in that contract context. Same with a conversation with Kate Winslet and Michelle Gondry. Also great. She's a wonderful actor and I love to hear her process and her memories. Uh, Inside the Mind of Director Michelle Gondry, as well as Anatomy of a Scene, Saratoga Avenue, which is the scene I was talking about, which is really neat to see how that breaks down, how it was done, all that, you know. Uh, Deleted and extended scenes and theatrical trailer, etc. So, 
a really great release from Kino, my pick of the month from them for the July slate. And um, that will do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.